Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North and today I'm going to show you how to make this easy loom knit baby hat. So for this pattern I'm using my 36 peg large gauge loom. It's 5 8 inch gauge. I also made a smaller version using my 24 peg loom and it's more of a newborn or even possibly a preemie size and I'll put all the details for how big it is and everything in the description below. You'll also need a loom hook and a large eye needle. And the yarn I'm using for this is a chunky weight yarn. This is from Hobby. It's just an acrylic yarn that's pretty soft. It's Amigo by Hobby. And um, to start, I'm just marking my first peg with a piece of scrap yarn. You could also use a stitch marker here, but I couldn't find mine. And then I'm just grabbing my yarn and making a slip knot. So wrap it around your fingers and just pull a little loop through and then pull on the long end to tighten up the loop. And I'm going to put that on that first peg that I just marked with that piece of yarn. Then pull on the long end to tighten up your loop there. And now we're going to go to the right with our E wrap cast on. So you're just going to wrap around each peg like this and it's called an E wrap because it looks like a lowercase cursive E I'm guessing. And you're just going to go all the way around back to that first peg. All right we made it back to the first peg so now I'm just going to scoot all of the loops down to the bottom and then once I get back around here, we're going to do another row of E wraps above the first row. So just do the exact same thing again, all the way around. All right, once you get back all the way around, go ahead and grab your hook and we're going to knit off. And I like to start on the, the peg right before the stitch marker and do that one first because that holds your yarn in place and then all your loops won't end up falling off after that. You can let go of it. And then I just go back around to the right and pull all the bottom loops up over the top loops and off the pegs. Now we got our cast on row done. So now we're going to start our super easy rib pattern. So first you're going to go the first peg and scoot that loop down and you're just going to e wrap that one and knit off like we have we just did for the cast on row. And then for the second one you're going to do a purl stitch. So you hold the yarn in front like that underneath the loop and then you insert the hook down into the loop and then you hook that yarn that you have held down there and you pull it up and you make a little loop out of the top there and then you're going to hold on to the whole thing and pull the old loop off of the peg and then you're going to put the new loop that you just made onto the peg and pull the yarn to tighten it up. Then for the next one you're going to do an E wrap again above the loop that's on the peg and just knit it off. And then again, you're going to do a purl for the second one. So you just go knit, purl, knit, purl. Pull up the loop. Take the old loop off the peg and put the new loop on and pull the yarn to tighten it. And you're just going to continue this all the way around until you get back to your starting peg.
All right, we made it all the way back to the beginning. So now you're going to do that same thing again for the next row. And you're going to do this for five more rows so that you have six all together for your brim. All right, now I finished the six rows for the brim and this is how it'll look at this point. For the smaller version of this hat on the 24 peg loom, I did five rows for the brim. Now we're going to make the body of the hat. And this part is super duper easy because all we're going to do is e-wrap. So just starting at the beginning, the first peg, you're just going to e-wrap and go all the way around and then you're going to knit off. Once you get back to your first peg, just go ahead and knit off all the stitches and that is your first row of the body of the hat. You're going to do a total of 18 rows if you want your hat to be the same size as this one. And for the smaller version of the hat on the 24 peg loom, I did 15 rows. All right, now we've finished the body of the hat and here's how to look at this point. So now we're gonna take it off of the loom. So first you're gonna take your yarn and wrap it around all the pegs one and a half times. And that's just so we have enough extra yarn to finish it off and then just go ahead and cut it. Grab your large eye needle and thread the end of the yarn onto it. Now starting on the first peg, we're just gonna take the needle and push it up under the loop and just thread it through and then you're going to take the loop off of the peg. Then you're going to continue that going to the right until you have all of the loops off of the pegs. Okay, we're in the home stretch now. We just have to cinch up the top. So this is how it'll look at this point. And then you're just gonna pull on the yarn to cinch up the top hole. And before we finish cinching it up, I'm gonna thread the needle through, down through the hole and into the inside of the hat. And then we're gonna flip it inside out. And then you're just going to go ahead and pull on the yarn until you get the hole pretty well closed up. And just to make it a little more secure, we're going to thread the yarn through all the little loops going around the hole just to kind of make it a little bit more securely held together. Once you've threaded it all the way around the hole, just go ahead and pull it tight to close up the hole. And then you're just going to make a knot. So I just kind of threaded the needle around one of the little stitches around the edge. And I'm just making a knot here. I tied a double knot just to make it extra secure. You don't want that hole to come undone later. And then after that, you can just thread the yarn through a few of the stitches and cut off the excess. Now you can go ahead and flip your hat back right side out. And now the top is all done. So now we have one more thing to do here before we're finished. But there's the top, it's all nice and neat. 
But for the bottom, you can leave it the way it is if it's fine for you, if you don't mind this kind of loopy um, edge. But I like to tighten it up a little bit just to make it look a little bit neater. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So you find your slip knot, and then we're going to go to the left and we're going to pull on all the loops going around the hat to get the excess slack out of the um, cast on row. So you're just going to start by pulling one of the loops over to the left of the knot. Then you're just going to continue pulling each loop to the left and just getting that slack kind of pulled out and your loop will get like super huge by the time you get to the other side. But it makes it look a lot neater, I think, and it's actually really satisfying to do once you get the rhythm of it kind of. So you see here I have my big loop of slack and then I'm pulling the one right to the left of that and then it gets a little bit bigger and then you pull the next one and once you get going it's actually really easy it just kind of is tricky at first so here now I'm kind of got the rhythm going and I'm just pulling on each loop all the way across the brim it's that outer loop of the cast on row that's facing the outside of the beanie and just do that all the way until you get back to your slip knot. All right, so we made it back to the slip knot, and now I have this huge loop of slack yarn that needs to be dealt with. So first we're going to untie the slip knot. So just loosen it up and then untie it completely. And then once you get it untied, all you have to do is pull on the end of the yarn and it'll get rid of all of that excess yarn that you just pulled through. Isn't that just like so satisfying? I just love it. Okay, so now you're gonna take your needle again and you're gonna thread it, thread your yarn back onto it. We're gonna um, feed the yarn down through a couple of stitches back here to secure it. I just go down one and then I go down a couple more and then I tie a knot just to be safe. And then you're just gonna weave the end through a few more stitches and cut off the excess. All right, and now your loom knit baby hat is complete. I think this hat is probably good for an older baby or maybe even a small toddler. And you'll find all the size information down in the description below. It's also a perfect hat to put a little pom-pom on the end. And I'll link to a tutorial for how to make your own pom-poms as well. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. And if you did, please be sure to like, comment, and hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching.